What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix your Fortnite Chapter 5 movement with the best in-game settings. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. Movement in Fortnite is crucial. It affects how you navigate the map, engage in combat, and overall interact with the game. Sometimes the default settings might not feel quite right, especially when you're trying to execute precise movements or strafe effectively during battles. By tweaking your in-game settings, you can greatly improve this aspect of gameplay. Start Fortnite and once you're in the main menu, open your in-game settings. This is usually accessible through a gear icon. Within the settings menu, navigate to the keyboard and mouse section. This is where you find various controls and customization options specific to keyboard and mouse gameplay. Look for the Use Custom Diagonals option and turn it on. This allows for more refined diagonal movement controls. Adjust the forward diagonal angle to around 53 degrees. This setting influences how your character moves diagonally forward, making the movement more natural and fluid. Set the strafe angle to 75 degrees or lower. The strafe angle determines how your character moves sideways. A lower angle can enhance your ability to strafe more effectively, which is crucial in evading enemy fire. Finally, adjust the backward diagonal angle to 135 degrees or higher. This impacts how your character moves diagonally backward. The primary advantage of adjusting these settings is that it allows you to run instead of walk while strafing. This can be a game changer in combat situations, providing you with better agility and reactivity. It's important to note that these settings might require some fine tuning based on personal preference and play style. Feel free to experiment with slightly different angles to find what works best for you. After applying these settings, enter a game to test them out. Pay attention to how your character moves, especially when strafing and moving diagonally. If something feels off, don't hesitate to go back to the settings and make adjustments. Sometimes, even a small tweak can make a big difference in the feel of your character's movement. These steps and more information will be available in my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.